Hi, this is Brian Jepson from O'Reilly Media, live streaming from Android Open. And I have a couple uh, hackers here from the Android Open Mini Maker Fair. Itai ben Spee from Yo creator of Yo-Yo, and Aaron Weiss from SparkFun Electronics. Uh, why don't you guys tell me a little bit about yourself, Itai? Um, I'm a software engineer uh, during the daytime. Uh, my day job is in Google. Um, this is just a hobby project of mine that I started about a year ago. Um, and the idea was basically connecting external hardware to an Android phone. Uh, nowadays it seems like uh, very prevalent and everybody accepts this uh, for granted. Uh, but back then it was pretty um, innovative work. And um, a few months later uh, we came up with the Yo-Yo board. Uh, which I'll tell you about in a second. So, so what you're telling me is basically you were doing Android accessories before it was cool. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. And Aaron, what's your what's your role in all this? Uh, my role is uh, well, I work at SparkFun first of all, and um, uh, we collaborate with YoYo and help him uh, basically bring his ideas to the marketplace. Um, basically, help him uh, manufacture the board and get the boards out to everyone. And uh, I'm just here to. Yeah, help uh, help sell the yo-yo and um, Android-related stuff. Great, thanks a lot. So, so what what is the yo-yo? So basically, it's uh, just a little board uh, with lots of connectivity, connects to your uh, Android phone via USB. Um, it's supported on virtually any Android phone. So, unlike the Open Accessory Kit, which requires 2.3. Four right, or three right, or later, right. or four, right? So you can do 1.5 or later. Is that real? Yes, really? yes. It's actually been tested on the G1 uh, and found to be working perfectly. So you can use the Yo-Yo to connect to. Oh well, right here you've got a servo motor. You've got a potentiometer. Um, so you can make that motor move, I guess. Um, yeah. So let me show you a quick um, demo. Um, so this is an app that I wrote. Um, the nice thing about it, um, this app only required about uh, 30 lines of code. Um, it's really simple to write um, and it didn't require any embedded programming. It's just all pure Android code um, using a library that I provided. So you don't have to program the chip at all? No. Okay, th that's different from the open accessory board as well. Yeah, correct. So you don't need to program it at all. You have an extensive library that lets you control each and every function of this board. Um, so that's basically ah. servo control right from uh -huh. the Android. So oh, that's that great. demonstrates speed out your mouth. Yep. I have here, um, yeah, you can turn the potential oh, yeah. and see the reading changes. That's great. That's great. And a uh, button for lighting the onboard LED. So seriously, this is 30 lines of code, super simple to implement and very reliable too. I mean, uh, if I disconnect, reconnect, it just reestablishes the connection uh, right away. Uh, wow. I've worked a lot of, on getting this very reliable. And starting today, actually, this is the first uh, formal announcement. This is big news. Yeah, this is big news. Not only for YoYo, I think for the community. So, um, lots of people ask. You're cutting the cord. Yeah, lots, lots of people ask for wireless YoYo. And um, you can get this. Uh, for like three bucks, it's just a Bluetooth dongle. This is the kind you plug into your computer to use a Bluetooth right, mouse. Right, right. You're so plugging just that plug into your yo-yo. It uh, soon will establish a connection. Yeah, oh, and everything whoa. just keeps working completely transparently. So okay, um, that's one of the coolest things I've seen all week. Thank you. <laughs> wow. So um, the software actually doesn't know about it and doesn't care about it. It's just uh, completely seamless. Uh, the software is just all about what I want to do in my hardware and um, with, in my approach at least the developer doesn't need to care about underlying connections and all this mess. Now that's fantastic and uh, I'm, I'm gonna, after seeing something so awesome I'm going to feel like a dork for asking for a feature but I'm guessing that when you program the Android side you're using the Android SDK, is that right? Oh uh, yes. Have you given any thought to supporting processing for Android? Uh, no, that's actually a point that was uh, raised today, and I'll definitely take it into consideration. Because maybe you could get that down to five lines of code. Yeah, 
it's good to it's definitely possible. Okay, so maybe tomorrow you'll have it done? Uh, maybe the day after. <laughs> so great. Well, well, thanks, thanks very much, uh, Aaron. So, so what is your part in the in the yo-yo? Did you work with him on the design? Do you make sure it doesn't catch on fire when you plug it in? Yeah, I basically uh, just source the parts uh, for SparkFun to produce the boards in the most uh, cost-effective manner possible. Okay. Um, and you know, I, I'm doing the easy stuff, standing on his shoulders. So, so are you are you Itai's handler? Handler is handler. Uh, somewhat. You can think of it that way. <laughs> so he's talent. He's a talent for SparkFun, and yeah. you have a SparkFun interface to exactly. tie. Okay. Exactly. Well, congratulations. Uh, there's one more. There's one more thing that's on this table that we haven't talked about, uh, and I'm going to give you a little bit of time, okay. uh, Aaron. You have a new product oh, today. Okay. Um, this is a. Uh, tell us what it is. Well, it's basically just SparkFun's version of the Google ADK board. Uh, simple as that. Uh, we call it the electric sheet. Um, and it operates pretty much the same way as the ADK board. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, you do uh, some Arduino programming and then you write your app and then you have the, the interface uh, to your phone. When will it be on sale? Uh, hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Great. And uh, do you have a price yet? No, we don't. Um, I, I, I would say it's going to be around 100, 120, something like that. Okay. So uh, it looks like. Microcontrollers and Android. Uh, this this booth right here. Uh, there's a lot happening with that, um, and you guys are you got two different ways to connect it, and you guys are rocking it. It's, it's fantastic. All this stuff is at SparkFun.com. Right. Okay. Well, uh, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. And we'll be back to live streaming in a moment.